assignment. For your assignment, you need to texturize each one of these pieces. So this one is going to show my checker pattern and I'll make a duplicate of it and attach a procedural type texture to it. You can find the texture online. I don't care what you use, whether it be rust or whatever, just as long as it shows, you know, that the scale is matching up here. And you can see tit for tat in this area compared to this area, I see no stretching or distortions. Now I didn't do every piece with you. That's important because what you can do here is try out different seams, different areas to, to get a really good result. So if you can get a better result, fine, do it. Um, the thing is, is about experimentation. In the long run, I'm going to be looking at this piece to see if there's any distortion on the texture. In this case, you can see at the very top, it has, it's a little bit blurrier compared to this. Okay, so I might want to fix that area. Sometimes I'm going to have to manually move them. Sometimes I'm going to have to mark a seam in a different area just to get a better feel for this. But that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for distortion when it comes to this texture right here. This makes sense to me. I can see where your seams are at with it, and I can see that it's, you know, the uniforms are there, but in the long run, the proof is in the pudding. This one's pretty hard, I'll just let you know, but um, with some trial and error, you can get it. And we went through this one together. When you were done, I need you to save this project out into your folder. And in your folder, there should be two textures. Texture one is going to be your procedural type texture, and texture two is going to be your checker pattern. Then all you do is go in here, here is my work in progress series. Delete that. And here's my two textures and my blend file. Now I'm going to have a couple blend files in here because I have auto backup on. Um, you probably do too, so if you have those, that's fine. Just click on your unit one folder and make sure you send to compressive folder. Now if you're on a Mac, it's just right click compress. Make sure you get the naming convention down. That's very important. And that's it. All right. Enjoy the assignment.